Hey there, nature enthusiasts. Today I've got a puzzling and somewhat alarming story coming straight from the Florida Keys. It seems that fish are once again spinning to their deaths, and scientists are scrambling to understand why. If this sounds familiar, it's because we first saw this strange behavior back in late 2023. Picture this, fish swimming in circles, completely out of control and then, heartbreakingly, dying. This eerie phenomenon was particularly devastating for the endangered small-tooth sawfish. While the situation seemed to improve by early 2024, it's now resurfaced, though on a smaller scale. But why is this happening again, and what's the cause behind it? Researchers have pointed their fingers at toxins produced by microscopic algae called dinoflagellates. These tiny organisms might be small, but they pack a powerful punch. During the initial outbreak, high levels of these harmful algae were found exactly where the fish were spinning and dying. However, in this latest wave, algae levels are relatively low, adding a new layer of mystery to the situation. So, what's going on here? Scientists are racing against time to figure out if the fish are experiencing new symptoms or if they're still suffering from previous exposure. It's a complex puzzle that underscores the need to understand the long-term effects of these toxins and the possibility of recurring events. Now, let's dive a little deeper into the toxic mystery. The suspect behind this deadly drama is a genus of algae called Gambier discus, although the specific species remains unknown. These algae produce toxins that target the myelin sheaths, which are like the protective coverings of nerve cells in fish. Imagine the myelin sheaths as the plastic coating around a wire. When damaged, it disrupts normal nerve signals, leading to the bizarre spinning and thrashing behaviors observed in the fish. To make matters worse, before the initial event, the region experienced a severe heat wave. This heat wave caused widespread die-offs in marine life and likely created favorable conditions for these harmful algae to thrive. While the exact mechanisms behind the algae's growth are still unclear, the link between rising temperatures and harmful algal blooms is undeniable. So what does the future hold? The recurring nature of these events is deeply concerning, especially with climate change contributing to rising ocean temperatures. Scientists are working hard to study these connections in hopes of better predicting and preparing for future events. But here's some good news. These toxins don't pose a threat to humans or the fishing industry. Seafood from the area remains safe to eat, which is crucial for the Florida Keys economy. However, the spinning fish incidents highlight just how vulnerable our marine ecosystems are to environmental changes. Public reports of fish displaying this spinning behavior are vital for researchers. Your observations can help scientists track and investigate these events, leading to a better understanding and, hopefully, solutions to protect vulnerable species like the sawfish. So, there you have it. The mysterious and deadly spinning fish phenomenon has returned, raising more questions than answers. As always, if you found this video informative, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on our fascinating and fragile natural world. Thanks for watching.